Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Well, we're keeping an eye on the weekend rain chances. I'm gonna lay out a, a bunch of stuff here. We'll kind of give you the best information possible, but there's some things we just don't know. There's going to be scattered showers and storms. Specific time and location of those scattered storms is incredibly difficult. It's almost impossible. So like watching boiling water on a stove, you know there's gonna be bubbles in there, but where those bubbles form on your pan, is really hard, but I'll try to give you as much information as possible so that you can make some decisions this weekend. There is good news. I mean, everyone's like doom and gloom, it's gonna rain. It's not gonna rain the whole weekend. I think that's the biggest takeaway I could give you. Yeah, there's gonna be scattered showers and thunderstorms, some with heavy downpours, but I'll be honest with you, most of the day could be dry. It's just those periods of rain that are the issue. So you can see what's going on. We've got a slow moving cold front, couple little clusters of showers. This first batch is going to make a run at us this evening. It's fallen apart, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a few isolated showers this evening. But it's tomorrow with what's happening behind it that's really going to dictate what's heading our way for the weekend. Let's look at a couple things here. I'm going to take off a couple of uh, products here so it's a little bit easier to see. We'll turn off the radar. We'll turn off the satellite imagery. I'm going to turn on the severe weather look just so you can see where the severe, we severe weather risk is today. It's in the middle of the country tomorrow. It's to our west and even on Sunday, it's to our west. So we're not worried about severe weather. It doesn't mean there isn't going to be some, but the risk is super low, less than 5% that we're going to see um, severe weather. If we look at the heavy rain risk over the next three days, we'll look at the risk today, kind of a low risk to our west tomorrow, mainly to our west. This has been reduced a little bit. So no widespread heavy rain expected in our area, but localized heavy rain is going to be the issue. So let's get into the future cast. All right, so let's start with the next 48 hours. This is right now, 11 a.m., pretty much as you're seeing this. We'll go into the afternoon hours, into the evening. We'll stop this around 5 o'clock. So 5 o'clock, we should be dry outside of some scattered showers in the mountains, and even there, pretty isolated. We'll go to 6, 7. So by 7 o'clock, there does look to be some clusters of showers. Could be some clouded ground lightning. So Live in Life Music Festival, we'll keep an eye on this, but... Um, there could be some showers and storms during the dinner time hour. Chance about 30-40%. You can see they're around through 8, maybe 9. They break up a little bit. So yeah, there's going to be around that dinner time hour some scattered showers and storms around. So we'll go into the overnight hours. Things will be kind of drizzly, misty. What we're watching is these two disturbances to the west. What are they going to do overnight? There's a pretty good chance with enough warm air surging in overnight that we actually could wake up to some scattered showers and storms. So don't be surprised if Saturday morning there's a few showers around, but I think there's gonna be two distinct waves. One, probably sometime in the middle of the morning. So 9 a.m. to noon, I do think we'll see some kind of cluster of showers or storms in the morning. So that's the first wave. You notice, here's this through about noon here, the cluster of showers and storms that moves into the mountains. By one o'clock, it's moving northeast. And then in the middle of the afternoon, there might be a lull. So like three, four o'clock, we might see a brief break. And then we might see things re-intensify going into the evening. So this is 6.30, 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Notice things starting to get ramped up. So somewhere in the middle of the day, there'll be a break, whether that's closer to noon or mid to late afternoon. Those are the questions that are still uncertain, but there will be a break somewhere. The problem is I do see two distinct waves of pretty good chances of rain and storms. And again, the second one uh, in the evening could be the one that has the most lightning risk with it. So if we're gonna see lightning, I think it's gonna be with this second line because the morning it's a little bit cooler. Yeah, we might have rain and a rumble thunder, but not widespread lightning. This to me is where we're gonna see the heaviest rain Saturday night into Sunday morning. Notice the rain lingers into early Sunday morning. This is where you could get flash flood risk if one of these storms kind of sits there and causes heavy rain through the morning hours on Sunday. So this is 7 a.m. Sunday morning. Notice the rain is still around. So we could wake up to rain on Sunday morning. But as we go into the afternoon, there is some hint that maybe this cluster pushes east and we see better weather. So let me back this up and show you again. We'll go all the way back to today. Today we're dry until evening with a few scattered showers. Overnight we're mostly dry. But Saturday morning we wake up to maybe scattered showers and storms through the middle of the day. A break develops late afternoon, early evening, and then late evening, another surge of moisture comes in. So you get the idea. Now, where these specific storms fire up and the timing, that's where there's some wiggle room. So the thing I will tell you, if you have an outdoor vent and you're outside from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., you're going to get wet. 
at some point, one of these showers is going to hit you. But if you have an event that's for two or three hours, you might be able to time it out. Um, even with that outdoor event, you know, can you wait out a 30 or 40 minute downpour and then get back to your activity? I mean, that's really what it comes down to is what's your tolerance for rain and downpours and how long you can take a break and not take a break. If you need 0% chance of rain, completely change your plans. If you can take an hour break twice during your event, maybe three hours during your event, then you could still do it. Just have shelter location and a rain plan. But the overarching thing is here, have a rain plan for the weekend. So that's basically what we're going to be watching is what happens with these waves of showers and storms for your Saturday and Sunday. So let's break it down. I like to show charts as well to kind of give you a little breakdown for those who don't like maps. So we, this is basically our model blender here. And you can see the rain chances uh, in the middle of your screen right here. If I, I go out, it peaks somewhere around 80 percent late tomorrow afternoon and evening. So you get the idea from 6 p.m. to about 11, probably our highest chance of rain tomorrow. And then Sunday, much lower chances during the day, but there could be a pop-up storm around 5 p.m. So Sunday actually looks better. I, there's still a chance of rain, but there's going to be much longer breaks in between the rain. I think after tomorrow morning into the afternoon and evening, once the rain gets here Saturday night, it's going to be here for a while. So uh, I don't like to call it a washout because it's not a washout. Most of the day will be scattered, but by evening, that's when, if you have evening plans, probably the highest chance. Now, the thunder risk is interesting because you look at the probability of thunder, it's about 40% peaking, maybe 43% on Saturday and about 40% on Sunday. So while the chance of rain is much higher, the chance of lightning is a little bit lower. We'll keep an eye on it. But if you look at the amounts of rain, there's two surges, one in the morning right here and then one in the evening. So you can kind of see the two distinct waves of rain. And then Sunday looks a lot better. So that's why there's some glimmer of hope that the weekend isn't a complete wash. It, it certainly isn't. I wouldn't call it that. But I've been telling everybody, everyone's asked, what about this time here, there? It's the same everywhere, folks. It's scattered showers and storms. You need to be ready for rain. Um, you can be super optimistic, but don't have a bias and think nothing's going to happen. And also don't think it's going to be an all-day rain. There's a good likelihood there will be dry breaks tomorrow, as I mentioned. It's just when it rains, it could be very heavy and there could be lightning. So they will not be light showers uh, once the bigger ones move in. I will post updates today, tonight, and through the weekend to keep you weather aware. Just be safe out there with all your outdoor events.